I know a lot of you saw these reports that came out at the end of the week talking about the potential for WWE and New Japan to have some type of working business relationship and you yelled at your keyboards into the internet verse and yelled at the skies, Khan! Whether it be at AEW executive Tony Khan and the potential of him allowing this to happen or WWE executive Nick Khan for potentially making this happen. No matter what, you're probably yelling, cussing, and fussing and saying, Khan! <laughs> and you're probably beside yourself. And I can imagine, this could be a heartbreaking moment for a lot of AEW fans who are one and the same, typically, New Japan fans. They're looking at this strictly from a their own selfish enjoyment standpoint, which isn't anything fundamentally wrong with that. I mean, why would you watch a product just so it enjoys somebody enjoyable for somebody else? You want it to be enjoyable for yourself. So I get it that you're trying to sit there and get the best of what you want and more of what you want. And you're like, oh my God, I get the Okada versus Omega in freaking AEW. And I could watch it all out and Dave Meltzer could give it 15 stars. So I see it. I get it. I know it. I sense it. You also don't want WWE to have anything to do with New Japan because you ultimately assume, and probably somewhat rightfully so, that WWE is not going to do well by the relationship. New Japan is going to suffer as a relation as a part of the relationship, and that WWE is just going to fuck over New Japan. Doesn't mean that's the way it ultimately works out, but that doesn't mean that you're illogical for necessarily thinking that because it certainly could be a bad thing for New Japan. But I want you to take a step back for a second and get over kind of like your personal biased bubble rage here, and really truly think about this. Because if you do, it would be so freaking strikingly obvious to you that New Japan only has one choice here, and that is to work with WWE, not AEW. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you were in charge of New Japan, and you told me, let's say I was a shareholder, a major shareholder of New Japan, just hear me out for a second, just play along. And you came to me and said, hey, I want to establish a working relationship with a big American wrestling company. I'd be mean, great. Anything to potentially increase our exposure on the American continent, get, get us into their cable or broadcast television, additionally to what we already have? Like, why the hell wouldn't I want to do that? Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, and we think we want to go with AEW. Then you should be immediately fired. Not tomorrow. Not even right now, yesterday, just for the sheer thought even coming to your head that you would rather, if you're in charge of New Japan, do business with AEW from a business, business, financial standpoint than WWE. Because that is some straight up clown school business shit right there. There is no comparison here. There is no true competition. If New Japan has any business sense at all, they absolutely will be craving a working business relationship with WWE. It's that simple. Think about what that working relationship would look like, potentially. Potentially. Just humor me. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Take some liberties here. But let's say as part of this business working relationship that some of the New Japan talent gets to appear on assorted WWE programs. Okay. Let's say that is part of the case. And especially if that's part of the case. You've got WWE that has two, three hours of prime time cable television every Monday night from 8 to 11 Eastern with Monday Night Raw. You got the two hours every Tuesday on USA with NXT. So you've got two nights, five total hours of major prime time cable television programming where your wrestlers could potentially be featured. And then on top of that, when you talk about a one-two punch between cable and broadcast television, WWE has two hours of primetime broadcast airtime on Fox every Friday night. What does AEW have? So not to put down AEW, they've done well, considering the limited length of time that they've been in the marketplace. Like, they've done some good things here, don't get me wrong, but you have to be realistic about the current situation. AEW has... 
two hours of prime time on Wednesday night on TNT. That's it. You got the other YouTube shit. And you got being the elite. Oh, blow it out your ass. And even in 2022, when they moved Dynamite to TBS, you still have the two hours there. And then you get an hour of Rampage on TNT on Friday night at 10 o'clock. That's going to do a fraction of the rating that SmackDown does every Friday night. So just from a television distribution standpoint alone, AEW has a solid cable television distribution and platform. WWE is as much larger in scope and depth and impact, period. Beyond dispute. <clears throat> so television, it's a no-brainer. Then when you think about it from an internet and social media standpoint alone, WWE's got how, however many, probably 60, 70, 60, 70 million damn subscribers on their YouTube channel. AEW doesn't have a fraction of that. That's not, again, that doesn't mean AEW's bad. I shouldn't even have to qualify it, but I know how overly sensitive a lot of you AEW pusses are, so i got to make sure I soften the blow here. But Jesus Christ, it's just a reality. Like, you could potentially have New Japan talents being featured, New Japan clips being featured on WWE's YouTube page or having them done on AEW's YouTube page. Like, if you're New Japan, going to AEW, you're just drawn from the same pot that Small Potatoes thinking. Why would you sit there and enter into a working business relationship where the value is limited in benefit for both parties? Here, at least, you could say for New Japan, the potential win, the potential upside, the potential reward is significantly, significantly larger with WWE. Not to mention all the millions of followers that their different assorted, assorted talents and such have on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, etc. Like, it's no fucking comparison. None. And then when you talk about, you know, for WWE, AEW does a couple of pay-per-views a year. WWE has Peacock TV now with the 20 plus million subscribers that have Peacock in some way, shape, or form. Those are all people that could potentially stumble into your New Japan talent, your New Japan clips, your New Japan matches, etc. Like when you think about this from a marketplace imprint in terms of both television and internet and social media, all of that stuff, like it is no comparison. This is absolutely the deal that New Japan should be seeking out. It should be seeking out relatively aggressively. As far as WWE goes, it is what it is. Like the potential benefits here are every once in a while you can potentially cycle in some new talent. They're not going to move the needle for you, but they're not going to cause significant damage. And if anything, you get a little bit of a closer up view on some of these guys and gals that may be over in Japan, especially the guys. And you're going to be able to look and see, hey, you know what? Okay, I... I might want to do business with this person more when their contract comes up. Maybe I want them here. Or maybe I want to sit there and say, hey, I want this guy for six, nine, 12 months. Uh, maybe we could take some of the guys that aren't really being featured here and loan them out to Japan for a while. Let them get more seasoning there. Let them hone their craft there. No harm in that. But you also look at it from a much bigger picture when you're talking about Vince McMahon, the McMahon family, the Titan Tower machine. They're in the business of empire building. They're not trying to compete in the marketplace. They're trying to dominate the marketplace like they have for most of the past two decades. So as a result, what are they thinking about doing? I'm sure they're thinking about opening up some type of performance center there in Japan. I would think they would have to be. Why the hell wouldn't you? Then they surely would want to sit there and open up some type of regional NXT brand, call it NXT Japan or NXT Tokyo or NXT Asia, have it stationed in Tokyo or somewhere else in Japan. So now you can sit there and draw for the talent pool into Japan, a Korea, a China, an India, like some of those Asian countries, some of those island countries. Like, again, why in the hell wouldn't you? So it's WWE thinking about it from trying to, you know, continue to grow their scope in the marketplace and reach out to a large marketplace, talking about just Japan alone, let alone any other countries, but Japan alone, with its millions upon millions of people, with a culture that very much enjoys, appreciates, respects, and loves professional wrestling and views it a little differently than, let's say, America's jaded fan base does. Like, it makes all the sense in the world for WWE to try and go there and try to glow, grow their global brand. That's exactly what the hell they should be doing. And if you were in charge of WWE and did not want to pursue this type of opportunity, then you also should be fired. You should be removed by the fucking board of directors because you don't know what the hell you're doing. You're in the business to dominate. You're in the business to make as much money as possible. You're in the business to 
Think about the long-term vision of where you're trying to go as a company. That aligns with the long-term vision. Sitting on your hands and doing the exact same status quo BAU shit isn't going to get the job done. You have to continue to grow and adapt and expand and rethink how you operate. So for both sides of this, yes, like I said, there are certainly the pettiness of, hey, we keep up from AEW, but the reality is there's enough benefit there for WWE that when you think about risk reward analysis, there's not a lot of risk here. Reward is potential middle to high. Then you fucking do it 100 out of 100 times. For New Japan, you weigh the risk and reward. You say there's probably not a lot of risk because the people that like you are going to continue to like you. But if you can grow your fan base at all, then the reward is exponentially higher than what it would be working with AEW. So for both parties, for WWE and New Japan, they need to make this working relationship happen. They need to make this a thing because it could potentially be very beneficial for both sides. For the AEW piece of it, right now, this is not the game they should be in because if anything, introducing more talent that they got to try and rotate through is just fucking stupid. They've already got that problem with too many people to feature on their damn shows. Bringing in other people that are just drawing from the same fan base that already watch both shows so you're not really growing your brand you're not changing anything you're not expanding your scope it's just some more mark boy bullshit that this company has enough of and doesn't need any more of sorry if that bothers you but that's absolutely reality